Aries, welcome to your weekly tarot card reading and astrology summary from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Guys, my name is Michelle. If you're just finding my videos, thank you. If you are returning, God bless you. And thank you so much for supporting the channel and helping me to grow. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. And please, whatever energies I describe during the reading, take them where they resonate in your life. Also, you could try to watch your rising sign video or your moon sign video because a lot of times they'll resonate more with you depending on what's going on and how it's impacting your natal chart. Aries, there's always an extended reading and I hope that you'll join me for that. That link is down below in the description box. I will also attach, attach it to the end of this video so you can click right on it and get right to it. And uh, I'll put it, I'll pin it to the top of the comment section as well. If you really love my content, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That way you'll know when I upload your favorite content. And if you really, really love my content, check out my second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation, where I channel messages live for you every single day, Monday through Friday, every single weekday. And you can live chat along with me if you are a subscriber and I hope to see you there. Okay, we do have some cards in front, but I wanna go over the astrology. Um, mm, three cards and holy moly. Holy moly. Okay. Let's talk about what Jupiter and Chiron are doing because both Jupiter and Chiron are in Aries first house, Aries house, the house of Aries. So for those of you who have your natal sun at around three degrees Aries, which would be people born in the beginning of Aries season, your natal sun is now conjunct to Jupiter, and that's going to give you a lot of energy, a lot of confidence, and almost like, I want to get this done now, like I deserve the best, a lot of confidence, sometimes overconfidence when Jupiter is conjunct the sun. You're speaking to somebody who has Jupiter like in one degree conjunction to their natal sun right here, right here, this girl. So a lot of times you kind of get a big head. So if your head has been real big and you've been real ambitious and you're like, okay, why isn't the world worshiping me? It's because it's because Jupiter is now conjunct your natal sun. But the good side is there is a lot of confidence. There's a lot of progress that can be made. A lot of luck, a lot of charisma is yours right now. So enjoy it, but don't get bamboozled by it. Be in control of it. Don't let it control you. This is really exceptional, intense, explosive kind of energy. Um, Chiron, to those of you who are born around, your natal sun is around 12 degrees Aries. That would be people who were born their second Aries. So um, sort of between say like the third and 13th around there. Chiron is conjunct your natal sun. And that's, that's hard energy. But what it does to you is it takes pain or things that you've suffered and it starts to motivate you. You'll feel very, very motivated to use the pain and suffering that you've been through and do something with it. And it'll start to drive you and give you a purpose. And that's also really exceptional energy. Now, Mars is your ruling dignitary. So wherever it is and whatever it's doing, it is going to be impacting you. It is still in Gemini. It is now moving direct. And we are starting to see its momentum moving direct again. It's actually, it's, it's not stationary. It's, it's, it's actually forward moving again. This whole week, Mars is pretty much trying to the sun. And this whole week, Jupiter is pretty much... A few days in, but almost this whole week, Jupiter is sextile to the sun. So Jupiter is sextile to the sun. So for those of you born in the beginning of Aries season, this is exceptional energy because it's it's going to be uh, Jupiter is going to be conjunct your natal sun and it's sextile, which means it's getting things done. It's charisma's on the move. Luck is on your side this whole week. Mars, your ruling dignitary, is also trying to the sun. So you're gonna find it very easy to get things done and to find the motivation to get things done and especially to find the words and to focus and to learn. You're gonna see that even things, your education, you might be putting it to use now. 
could be driving you forward and helping you to get things done and really be seen. And you're starting to see the progress that maybe you've earned. This full, no, sorry, this new moon on Jan, January 21st, it's a new moon in Aquarius. But Jupiter is going to be sextile to it. So it's, it's huge because this new moon is actually conjunct Pluto as well. You want to talk about your time to make impact, your time to make change, your time to make your stamp, make your mark. That's it, babe. That's it. January 22nd, 21st, 20, 20th, 21st, 22nd. Time to make the move. Time to make the big impact. Um, let's go into the cards. Please leave your comments below. And uh, feel free to ask questions. I will, if I see them, I'll answer them. You want proof that... <laughs> Here we go. What did I just say, right? Aquarius, new moon, conjunct Pluto, Jupiter, which is in Aries' house, sextile to it. Chiron. I think it's square to it. No, no. The star card, Aquarius. The death card, Pluto. The three of swords. Heartbreak, suffering, and sadness. You are about to fulfill a life purpose that you gained because of a really sad event that you went through. It is going to motivate you to push forward and to take action and change things. You see the world differently now. You have permanently changed. That's Pluto. You have permanently changed. It's changed you. This heartache is front and center right now. Is it going to be something that happens to you? No, because the death card is upright, which means it's resurrection. So you have transformed because it's driven by this, this heartache. Whatever broke your heart recently or I don't care if it was 20 years ago, if it made an impact, this is where it really makes an impact because you start to see that you're making an imprint and an impact on everybody around you and they're starting to recognize it. It also could be this pain and suffering is coming to light and you're finally able to grab a hold of it and not let it control you, but learn how to do something with it because the sun's on it now. And so it begins. This could also represent that you have been wishing and hoping and praying for something to restart or begin again. For those of you who have been doing that, you're going to be brokenhearted. It's not coming back. Things have changed. You have changed. And what you want should have changed too. Let's get into more details. We have a house here. We have a house or money or riches. You are making advancements in terms of the money that you're making. This is when you get to move forward in terms of your salary or however much you're making right? Taking action because you know there's opportunity ahead, especially maybe taking action on a house. I don't know what this has to do with you. Let me know. But this is you, Knight of Wands, Aries. You took action. You're going to be happy that you did because there's big payoff here. We have, Jesus, the Ace of Pentacles which is a huge opportunity, something being offered to you, especially in terms of value, people recognizing your value. You've worked really hard. The actions that you've taken and the work that you've done is yielding not only great money, but great opportunity being offered to you. And we have the Queen of Cups here, which is, this is a sincere offer. It's nobody trying to bamboozle you. This is somebody that is open-hearted, loving, and really does appreciate you. It's also something that you love and that you care about. This could be a mother figure. For some of you, it may be finally knowing to do something with an inheritance that you inherited from getting your heart broken. But now you're seeing the other side of it. You're seeing what I can do with this heartache 
and how I can make it useful and in some cases profitable. I don't think you'd be driven by the profit, but I think the happy ending to the story, if, if it's not, maybe it's not an ending, maybe it's just a new beginning, right? With the Scorpio card there, a new beginning is it's, it's like, um, it is a different world. Your world has changed, but now there's something positive about it again. There's something like you feel that's useful and you know, it, it's not all suffering anymore. It's healing. It's tremendously healing. You're, you're doing this for healing purposes. Let me know in the comments below because I would definitely like to know. We have so much more to go. Let's choose a moon card because the moon is definitely, oh baby. What? Okay. So you've been waiting for a message? The answers you need are coming. This is Gemini. Where is Mars? Answer down below. Let me know that you're paying attention here, guys, because Mars is in Gemini. Answers you need are coming. Answers you need are coming. So there's information coming into you that is going to allow your Mars to say something, do something, or inform somebody else of something. It has direct, direct, it is direct connection to your momentum or you finally being able to make congr uh, Congress, maybe, um, uh, make progress. The answers you need are coming, adjustments are required. So when you get the information or when you have this conversation or when you level up and learn, it's saying you're now gonna get the information that you need to know what to change. What's been holding you back? What's been going wrong? Oh, what's the problem? You're gonna know it. You're gonna know it so that you can make those changes and that's the key to your success. This is about you taking action on something. You're just not sitting here and letting it arrive. But I think you wanna take action on it is what I'm saying. You don't want to sit here and just be like, Ugh, but you've been stuck. Well, yes, because Mars has been in retrograde. But now the information Perhaps the paperwork, whatever it is, the conversation, the contract that you've needed, it's coming through. And yes, you're going to have to adjust, but those adjustments aren't going to be difficult compared to all this waiting. You're going to be on top of that. Have faith in your dreams because this is the new moon and this is the time, whatever you act upon now, around especially this weekend around this new moon you are it's going to be guided for the rest of your existence by faith and belief that you can get it done and you will get it done this is a really powerful manifesting new moon have faith in your dreams even if it seems impossible because somebody is willing to talk to you the information is coming in you do know what you're doing you do have to compromise adjust but now you know what it what is necessary now you know what is necessary what does this have to do with let's get more information mm, yeah. we use this deck i'll use my golden girls deck what does this have to do with now it could be it could be different for all of you right depending on what house all of this is taking place in. It could be your money, could be your career, could be your family, could be your love life. Oh, you got shat on and abandoned. And I think that made you question your self-worth. This could even make you feel alone or because Queen of Wands would be you. Something that made you feel left behind, abandoned, dumped, ditched. It's now making you shine. One of the first cards that came out was the five of pentacles in reverse. You want this card in reverse. This is good news in reverse because it means your financial struggles are over. But something here, perhaps losing your job or somebody leaving you, fucked with your finances. It left you in the dust. But it's saying that now you're overcoming that. You're overcoming even just being behind or feeling like you were left behind. You're now overcoming that. This is huge leaps forward, I think, especially with your coin, but definitely how people value you. 
And look, this fell out and it landed up, uh, upside down, which means you are getting over whatever made you feel abandoned or left behind. You're not left behind anymore. Your money has caught up and so has your confidence. We had two more cards on the table, Knight of Cups and the Lovers. This could also be because you have the Queen of Cups as well. This is an offer of love or you finally being able to express, I'm interested in you. Now, if this is in the past, this could have been somebody that you went after, chased after and gave all of yourself to. That could have been what the heartache had to do with. But I think this is something else entirely. I think this is what's going on right now. That you are going to be so attracted to somebody or somebody so attracted to you, it is probably a cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, there's Scorpio on the table. And I got to tell you, Scorpios are always after you guys. You got Mars in common. You got sexuality in common. There's somebody that's coming after you. There's somebody that's making an offer to you. And yes, I do believe this is love and romance. Now, if you're in a happy relationship and it ain't about that, it could be that your partner is starting to show more affection. It could also be that this is not necessarily a sexual attraction, but it is definitely somebody extremely attractive. Like it's like kismet, the way that you two just come together and you're meant to meet. This is faded because it's major arcana. The lovers are here. This is also Gemini energy. So these are expressions of love or expressions of, hey, I value you. Or it's saying, Aries, you need to start talking and you need to start telling somebody, I love you. I care about you and you need to take action about showing that you appreciate somebody because it's integral to the rest of your life and opportunities moving forward. Let's see what's coming. Six of Pentacles is there's a lot of opportunity. It's like be giving, be generous, and you will be in a very generous mood because there is happiness here. Two cards fell out coming in the future. There is happiness here. Why is there happiness? It's almost like your abundance and now you want to share it. You want to open up more opportunities for people who feel you feel should be appreciated for the hard work that they do, right? You don't want them to be treated the way that you are treated. This is also a sense of people finally wanting to hire you. This is going to be a great time to apply for new roles, apply for jobs, or go after that project or presentation if you work for yourself. Because you are going to stand out and people are going to want you like crazy. They are going to value you and you're going to get top dollar. People are seeing your worth. That's what Three of Pentacles is all about. Right, they're seeing your value and making offers because of it. There's coins all over this freck I'm reading. Okay, in the future, you have karma, you have the wheel of fortune. This all has to do with crazy shit, crazy shit that you've been with, and how you took pain and you turned it into something that offers opportunities for others, helps others makes waves and push other people forward, intervenes and sticks up for people, all of those things, you got good karma points put in your little piggy bank. And that is all coming. It's all coming back to you. See, we don't, especially when you don't do things for the reward, you do them because you know it's the right thing to do. God comes around. And this is, this is it. It's saying it's tangible now. These pentacles could just represent it's in the real world now. God has always appreciated you. But now you're actually starting to see that the world is lined up. And good things do happen to you. Even if they took time. But it's like the longer it took and the harder it was, the bigger the payout. Another card came out. King of Pentacles. This is big daddy. This is daddy Warbucks. The person who just gives and gives and gives without giving himself away. This is being smart with your money, being in control of your money. It usually represents some boss, but it could represent, I don't know. We're going to go to the extended and dig into the romance. This is definitely a ma masculine earth sign. So this is, this is, this is somebody with means. 
male or female, but it's a masculine, which means, oh, they know what they're doing and they take action. They don't sit there and hem and haw and they're in control of their, they're progressive and they built some shit. This could also represent Capricorn, but we're going to get into that. I'll see you in the extended guys. Link is below or above somewhere in this video. I'll see you there.